Modern combat operations in low-intensity conflicts often involve fighting in urban terrain, inside desolate buildings, or forcing entry into vehicles. And turning a corner can be so unsafe that these unexpected close-quarters encounters often expose security forces to the enemy. As a result of the War on Terror, Israeli Lieutenant Colonel Amos Golan developed a highly effective close-encounter fighting tool to ensure a unit's safety. Such technology has existed for decades, and different iterations have helped several generations of soldiers, but the corner shot has proved its outstanding usefulness and versatility in combat like no other tool of its kind. The device is a high-quality hardware system that allows detailed observation through a camera and monitor, complete with sniping and assault capabilities. And because the weapon system can be triggered completely from behind cover and also protects the user, it increases accuracy in sudden target engagement. Shooting from around a corner has never been more effective, and the world has taken notice. The Periscope Rifle As short-range warfare has evolved, Weapons that allow combatants to shoot around corners without exposing themselves to enemy fire have appeared in different versions throughout the decades. One of the earliest iterations of such technology was the periscope rifle from World War I, designed by different nations with slight variations. The most notable and mass-produced kind of periscope rifle was developed in 1915 by Lance Corporal William Beach of the 2nd Battalion of the Australian Imperial Force. After losing many of his compatriots to vicious Turk fire while peering above the trench top during battle, Beach decided to modify a Lee Enfield rifle with a periscope build meant for close-range sniping operations. Despite being considered a shady practice throughout most of the conflict by both sides, sniping skulls were cultivated and refined during the war. Beach's modification allowed the repeating rifle to shoot at the Turk targets at up to 50 yards without risking the soldiers' lives by getting too close to the target. Used on the Gallipoli front, the periscope snipers successfully exacted a significant toll on the Turks. The Krumlauf. Two decades later, the Germans developed the Krumlauf, a curved barrel extension and periscope attachment developed for the Sturmgewehr 44 rifle. Its main advantage was that the weapon's shape allowed a soldier to see in the direction it was firing. Introduced in the latter half of World War II, the Germans hoped that the Krumlauf would give the soldiers an edge in urban combat. However, the Allies were stronger than ever by the time it was introduced, and no amount of weapons, no matter how successful, would turn the tide of the war in favor of the Germans. After the war, the United States and the Soviet Union adopted a variety of German wonder weapons, but the Krumlauf attachment wasn't one of them. The concept remained shelved for the next 50 years until the so-called War on Terror in the 21st century sparked the latest iteration. The Corner Shot In the early 2000s, as the War on Terror raged on, Counterterrorism Unit Commander Lt. Col. Amos Golan from the Israeli Army introduced the latest iteration of cover shooting weaponry, the Corner Shot. The firearm accessory entered operational service as early as 2003 as part of the era's new technologies designed to benefit ground troops and give Israeli police and military units an advantage against dug-in adversaries. The corner shot isn't a weapon, per se. It's a rifle-sized specialized frame inside of which a firearm is installed. An advanced camera-equipped tool that allows the user to see, direct, and engage with targets Major. from behind cover the corner shot incorporates all the latest technology in warfare as one highly specialized device. This way, the corner shot mounting system turns a standard pistol into a short-barreled rifle with a front section that can swivel in either direction with a hinging lever. Depending on the direction of the corner and the hostile threat, the user can silently maneuver the system and then turn it straight back just as quickly without being noticed. Versatility Creators of the corner shot also made sure that the weapon accessory was a handy observation and intelligence gathering platform. Vader. The heart of the system is a camera lens attached to the front of the swiveling pistol mount. Such a system includes a top-tier camera through which the operator can zoom in and observe from different angles, 
while a video outport allows for remote viewing. Also, a flashlight and a laser sight for improved visibility lie above it. Mounted on the left side of the frame's receiver is a camcorder-style video monitor with a sighting crosshair, while an optional microphone completes the features that ensure the user sees and hears everything that's going on around the corner. The corner shot unit records and documents all target engagements, making it an effective tool for legal, training, and evaluation purposes, similar to body cams. The tool can also be used in a wide variety of situations, as the system can be equipped with several different firearms, primarily handguns, like the Beretta 92, the Browning High Power, and the Glock series of pistols. Users can even complement the system with a 40mm launcher that can toss grenades, less powerful rounds, door breaching munitions, and many other settings and choices. Amos Golan, the creator and one of the founders of the Corner Shot program, has consistently and openly praised his invention. According to Golan, quote, I believe that the Corner Shot weapon system can be extremely beneficial in the global war on terror. It protects soldiers' lives and increases their chances of survival, while drastically improving their ability to gather information and transmit the combat scenario, as well as pinpoint and engage targets out of their line of sight. Potential Cons For all its advantages and versatility, the Corner Shot also has its limitations. Despite being rifle-sized, the tool doesn't offer the same capabilities provided by dedicated rifles. Shooting through a small camera without the magnified optics that a rifle allows can be quite difficult, as the soldier is looking through a tiny screen attached to a firearm on the other side of an awkward lever. In addition, with the advent of unmanned aerial vehicles in the last decade and their deployment at the squad level in close counter-fighting, the ability to sneak past corners and survey the area is unmatched. Finally, with a 160-minute runtime, the corner shot's battery doesn't last long enough to be used throughout a 12-hour patrol and can only be used sporadically when the user is 100% sure of the target's engagement. Around the world. The most inventive use of the weapon was featured in Discovery Channel's Future Weapons in 2009. In the episode, host and former Navy SEAL Mac Makowitz talked about the corner shot weapon tool, but with a peculiar adjustment. The model was fitted with a stuffed cat as a disguise, with the animal's back legs up the weapon's bipod. During the show, in which the latest modern weaponry and military technology are reviewed and demonstrated, Makowitz gets a demonstration on how the weapon platform can shoot around corners with its hinged receiver, video camera, and monitor. Ultimately, Israel's corner shot tool has proved a modern answer to an age-old issue, tackling short-range fighting in a unique way. So much so that China has reproduced three corner shot-like devices going back to its early years, all unveiled at China police expos throughout the decades. Meanwhile, South Korea also unveiled its own take on the corner shot in March of 2010, developed by the government's Agency for Defense Development. Overall, Several countries have used the system in countless counter-terror operations in the post-9-11 era. And with the growing urbanization of postmodern warfare, an updated version of the model, or a tool similar to it, will likely continue to serve ground forces worldwide for decades to come, just like the weapons before it. Thank you for watching our Dark Tech video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to this and all the channels in our Dark Documentaries family for more exciting military content. Stay tuned.